Hi, we're Project Constellation. My name is Santiago. I'm Christina. And this is our mukbang slash music, if you will, for to promote our uh, CD, which is coming out probably January 1st. Probably. Oh, psychological Hands. And we have a music video for this coming up too, which... Being worked on right now. His friend is working speaking. on. Yeah. Shout out to Ian Peters. That's right. Um, and yeah, for today we have pizza from a local pizza place. I have to ask if they have permission to mention their name. So we're going to leave their name and information in the comment section. That way if we get a strike, we can always just remove that. Um, we have a really good local pizza place here in Grand Forks. Recommend. I'm not sure what we got here. Well, I got, let's see, chicken, avocado, and bacon. It was delicious. And then, um, yeah, we got, of course, the fire noodle that every mukbanger does. But with a twist, this is technically the cheese one. And then, again, we didn't ask for, I'm not sure if you have to ask for permission to mention company names. But so we added some of the fire sauce to it. And then I like to make a little faux omelet that I picked up in various YouTubes. How to kimchi, whatever. Uh, so it's we got kimchi, green onion, cilantro, egg, the and I, stuff. I had a little bit of cheese. It's been sitting for a while, but should be good. Anyways, he makes so. it extra hot, like super hot. That's why I'm not partaking in that one because um, I don't want to be stuck on ice cubes for an hour, which has happened before. So. I mean, to me, it's I'm I'm used to it. I don't know. He don't, has no taste. I don't. Sense. Yeah. They're all burnt off. That could also be age, I suppose. Anyways, if you're out there, feel free to join us. I guess the point of a mukbang is for people to eat while you're. I guess it technically means broadcast meal or something. I don't know. Anyways. But um, yeah. I mean, good food. Excited about the new year. Christmas plans are simple, just staying in town, doing our thing. We're not sure when this will be aired, or shared, I should say. So, if it's the 25th, marry whatever you celebrate. <laughs> and if it's way past, then hope you had enough food and stuff. That's right. Well, I work at a grocery store. Happy it's New Year's. Been cra crazy busy there, so it's got a bakery. Been baking all the time. So stop by if, if you want some goodies. He works from home. He doesn't go anywhere. I drag him out of the house. It's my job. But yeah. So we had an awesome year. This was one of our busiest year, if not the busiest year. We didn't get to go quite as many places as we had planned. I mean, obviously, 2020 was a bit of a write-off, and we had a lot farther shows booked that got canceled in 2020. All well, venues never opened up again, or just didn't book music or whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're hoping 2022 will be much better. But then everybody says that. That's right. But also, we haven't really been super active online lately. I mean, lately as in like 2020. So we're trying to change that just a little bit. We do exist. Promise. It was just easier to like drive eight hours to play one gig than to like post a picture every day. Or record. Yeah, recording too. <laughs> so, so Miracle even got our 30p out because it takes forever to do anything. That's because we're mostly playing on the weekends, which are my days off. So plan everything around that. Yeah, when it comes to promotional stuff, we are the worst. Promise we're alive, doing fine. And there will be, we have some new new songs that aren't even on any of our EPs. So at some point, we'll have to make another EP next year. Or like, maybe two years from now? Who knows? I haven't actually, well, there was a toilet paper one during quarantine, but before that, we hadn't even released anything since 2000. Well, I guess, you know, technically late 2019, early 2000. Funny, depending on how you look at it, yep. um, when we released our other uh, last EP. Um, yeah. I don't even know what we're going to name the other one. I have no idea. Our next one? Yeah. Like, I don't know Psychological Hands is an inside joke. I don't even know if I should go into the story <clears> or not. Maybe we can go into it live. If you catch us on a live show, I'll tell you this whole story. Please ask us about it, because we'll gladly tell you. Well, I mean, by now, it's kind of 
I guess not so funny anymore for us anymore, but that's it, a lie. It's, <laughs> it's very it's funny. It's kind of funny. We're gonna want any of these from the fire noodles, or I don't want stuck on ice cubes for an hour. No. Mm -mm. All right. You know, well, it's way too much hot sauce. Like I like hot sauce, but I don't like. Hey, um, your tongue's on fire, and so is your throat, and um, you're gonna feel ill later when you have to use the restroom. So no thanks for me. That that's a little too hot. It is. <laughs> For you. Besides, once you mix it with the steel. egg and the cheese and veggies and stuff, it's like uh -huh. basically sure. not at all hot. Yeah, anymore. I mix it in too, and I, it's still intense. Yeah, I'll try some of this pizza with no, noodles. No, it's mine. I didn't tell you you could have some. Hmm. And yeah, I know I take apart my pizza, so I do. See? You can taste it, right? Because there's no super crazy hot sauce on here. It actually has flavor. Too. Give me a napkin too. No. <clears throat> I mean, I can taste this fine. Um, I'm just... I just love hot sauce, I guess. He does. We have a collection of hot sauces growing. It's pretty great. There will be more. There was more, but we ate most of it. So eventually we'll have to restock. That'll happen later. Hmm. When we travel at some point again. Well, anyway, <clears throat> enough to talk about food. Music. So that um, EP is our most um, punkish. Christina says that it's our emo kid. Yes. I guess. The emo child. It's it's a dark color. That's why. Like the first one we made, our oasis was like super bright and sweet. Beach setting, you know, two instruments around a campfire that's glowing, bright colors. And the second one is like darker theme, following the unknown. So um, darker colors slightly. Two kids wandering into a mist. And then this one's just like psychological hands. <laughs> so it's uh, you know, we're not a death metal band, but it looks like it kind of wants to be one. I wanted a full skull, and he was like, no. I was like, please, and he said no. So we have skull hands and two eyeballs coming out of a dark mist. So There's actually a distorted guitar in one of the songs. That's a new one for us. Yeah. No, it's it's um took us forever because there's so many layers to this one. Like the first two, I mean, there's not that many layers. It's just like one thing of violin, one thing of guitar, blah, blah. Some of this is like two, three violins in it, um, you know, layers of other stuff. And then, yeah, their music it's video. It's pretentious. Yeah, it's very pretentious. But in our music video, um, that also has washboard and banjo, thanks to our friends. So I do a shout out to our friends here. Or, yeah. You know, da Danny Savage from Mooncat. He joins us, vocals and washboard, and fantastic. And then um, Prescott down in Omaha. So they joined us, which was pretty awesome, um, with slide guitar and banjo. So, having a good time. Yeah, we're... <clears throat> when is our first show next week? <laughs> our first, first show? show. So, how's that? I was choking on that. I'm telling you. Um, what is it? January 22nd? That should be at Black Lions. I'm pretty sure that's one of our shows. So is that Omaha? No, that's on Mandan. Oh right, right, right. I I try not to book super super far away shows during like January, December, blah blah, because you know snow and all that fun stuff we have to deal with in North Dakota. Um, but Omaha, we do have that one coming up in February. So if you don't have everything memorized like I don't, so you can check out our Facebook Party prepared. Constellation. Yeah, super prepared. At least all of our uh, events are on there. It's online. So this is exactly for this reason, because it's hard to remember off the top of my head. I write everything down. Make events. It's there. You can check us out. Um, we play a lot. We play around Grand Forks. Um, we play Omaha. We play Wisconsin, like Madison, Rhinelander. Um, uh, Baraboo is new. Uh, we've been there, too. Um, uh, Montana. And 
Well, Idaho was the furthest we went to, but that was also before 2020. So. All right, have another slice because then we're pretty much we should start wrapping it up because I'm sure if anybody's this, this watching out there, they, got, slice, so they got better things to do. So yeah, thanks to everybody who's been following us, everybody who's come out to see us, mm -hmm. anybody who supports us, and um, yeah, we just have a lot more things coming up. So stay tuned. That's right. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Click subscribe and that too. Do all that fun thing, stuff. The bell notification, whatever. Look at us being so cool and eating yeah. the camera, right? <laughs> Look at us being so pretentious to do this. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. So weird. He's influenced by all these YouTube channels he keeps watching. That's fun. So for the next time, we're probably going to be scam baiting. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible. Or do crazy challenges. Uh, jumping off of a rock. Joking. Grand Forks is just stay outside for longer than five minutes. That counts as a crazy challenge. Especially negative 40 degree weather. <laughs> yeah, don't suggest it. But yeah. Oh, we could throw hot water into the air when it's that cold. It turns into a mist before it hits the ground. If that's true, that was pretty cool. Um, is there a thing? Sun dogs is another thing that's up here that you only see in really cold areas. Like when there's like three huge beams floating in the sky and there's a scientific explanation behind that, but it looks freaking awesome. Um, hmm. we see that too. Some other random like light in the sky at random because of how cold it is up here. Pizza with fire noodle sauce. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Talk about fusion. I'm not brave enough to try that. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. I mean, we, that's all we really had. It was just to do something because we are not very active on We're the alive, faces guys. and the We're here. and the YouTube's it's terrible. But um, <laughs> you know, sitting eight hours one way in a car, like ah, no problem. Spending three minutes to put together a clip, like ah, forget about that. <laughs> no way. Pretty much. Anyway, so uh, happy holidays, whatever. I don't know when this is coming up. Like I said, happy, right. Mary, Take happy care. new year. Hope to see you all on the road. Stay safe out there. And uh, yeah. Happy that, whatever you celebrate. <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, right. stay safe. All right. Hold up the CD one last time. Well, wait, wait, wait. I don't wait. know if it's going to come out or if it's too dark. Eh. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> you have longer arms. Thank yep. you. Have a good one. See ya. Bye.